coming from a very classic um, kind of Benjamin, Benjamin Graham kind of valuation school um, kind of drew me in because I'm quite that kind of analytical um, scientific kind of guy, I think. Uh, so coming from that view, but then then kind of applying it to growth. So the, the way I think about it is kind of like uh, if you're trying to figure out what a tree was worth and say that you've got a, a tree that's like two meters high um, and you're going to try and put a value on it, the kind of classic approach to that would say, well, it's not very big. You know, what could you make out of that tree? Maybe a baseball bat or something like that. It's not worth too much, but it's worth something. You could cut it down and you, maybe it's worth like $40. Uh, but the other approach is to think, well, Actually, that tree um, is a redwood tree. It's going to grow to be extremely large in future. Um, how big is that going to be? What's it going to be worth then? And then trying to discount it back to the present. So that's very much the kind of school of thought um, or the strategy that I uh, adopt. And there's, neither is right or wrong. Like both can still make money. Um, but I guess the classic Graham method is a bit harder to adopt uh, these days because it's become a bit more widely known and it's a bit easier to measure. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's part of what's part of what's driven some of the difference between value and what you might call growth over the last five, ten years.